In this video, I'm going to tell you the best red zone or goal line two point conversion passing concept in Madden 22. It's actually a great concept no matter where you're at on the field, but it's really, really good in the red zone. It's probably my favorite play. I go for two almost every time and run this play, and this play just always seems to work for me. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. I also want to let you know that this play is going to be we're going to be talking about today comes out of the New England Patriots playbook we're gonna be talking about the trips tight end formation and I actually have a full ebook on this offense so if you want to learn the full offense be sure to join my patreon there's a link in the description below where you can sign up for the patreon the patreon will not only get you access to the trips tight end guide but also get you access to every madden 22 offensive and defensive ebook that i've released so far and every ebook that i'm going to release while your subscription is active we've got 13 ebooks over there a lot of exclusive tips pro player film studies and a lot more for you to check out so if you want to get better at madden the best place to start in my opinion is the patreon so if you want to check that out it is in the description all right guys so what we're talking about today is we're talking about a red zone concept now the cool part about this is you can actually do this out of any play in the new england in the trips tight end formation so if you wanted to utilize trips tight end uh, play action blocking to help pick up pressure you certainly could do that um, but I'm going to show you today how I like to run this play out of the Pat's Y in, and then I'll also show you how I like to run this out of just kind of any play uh, in the formation. So I'll put the PA counter go in my audibles as well. Um, so anyways, Pat's Y in is the play we're going to start with. And the setup for this is we're going to basically build around this tight end route. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put the slot receiver, Scotty Miller, uh, on a flat we're going to put Mike Evans on a in route or a drag. That is up to you. We're going to put Chris Godwin, the inside slot on a slant. And then we're going to take the running back and put him on an out route. So you see here, this is what the play looks like. Now, your first read is always going to be to the running back quick to the flat. If you feel like you can hit this, take it and take your points. There's a lot of people um, that will not. It's what this is going to do is it's going to force your opponent to have to play hard flat. So that was cover four. Here's cover three, just kind of a standard uh, cover three. Oh, that's covered, right? So then we need to look to the next read. Um, but again, it's just a quick peek. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do, especially if they are in a cover zero. So like if they're man pressuring you, this is my favorite route because he just gets there, jets to the outside, and you can easily pick up the touchdown almost every single time with that route. Now, if it's cover three, um, and again, if it's just kind of standard cover three, um, which most people don't really play on this, but if it is standard cover three, you're then going to look to this left side. And a lot of the time, you're, either your dig, like right in there, will come open late, or your flat will come open, okay? Now, my other favorite route on this formation or on this concept is this tight end route can pretty much be thrown all kinds of points so you see here, I can throw it on the sideline just like that, or I can throw it in the middle of the field. Depending on the coverage, pretty much, I can throw that route regardless, okay? So I want to show you cover three one more time. And let's show you this flat. What you should see here, and my guy is not sucking down like he normally does. I guess it's because we're not using zone drops. In, in, in Mutt, you would be using zone drops. Let me show you how to Mike Blitz three. So let's say they go to Mike Blitz three and they go with a purple, purple, and then they go two yellows in the middle of the field, and then they have their user, right? So it looks something like this. Very popular defense. What you should see here is if you look to the left side, this, uh, again, these yellows are going to get sucked in, and I'm throwing it a little bit too early, uh, but that tight end route should get open over the top of that. Again, if they're not playing hard flats, you're typically going to be able to just throw your running back route. Um, so if they are playing hard flats, so let's say they are playing hard flats, this is where I like to, so if I peek the running back and I see a hard flat, typically the hard flat's gonna play on both sides. So I look to the right, oh, there's a flat. So I come back here and you see that I have my in route. So when they play hard flats, oftentimes your in route is wide open on the back side. So it's pretty much a quick read between the running back and then the flat in concept on the back side, and then the slant and the uh, post are kind of my like late reads if something doesn't work right. So here's cover four again. Just want to continue to kind of show you some concepts here. And you'll see you can always throw that like late in the play too. If you just need to, if you have to get a score, that route late is typically really good as well. Okay. So now what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you probably a more popular concept that you're going to get a lot in the red zone, and that is cover two with two hard flats. And what you're going to see if you get a cover two defense 
is this post route will be wide open in the back of the end zone. As you can see right there, the deep half really struggles uh, to guard this. They basically have to be in cover three uh, to have a chance to stop that post route. Um, and then the problem with that is, you know, obviously all your underneath stuff becomes wide open. So if they're in cover two, you'll see here, I'm looking, oh, running back's not open. I can look and I can continue and I can hit that slant right there as well. So if they're double flatting or something like that, you, you're, you're going to continue. So you, really the true read is running back, slant, flat, in route, post to the tight end, and then back to the in route if you, if you have something, if you don't have anything. Um, another coverage that is really popular is to go basically man, uh, man coverage with two hard flats to try to stop those quick outs. Uh, if you get something like that, typically your out route might still be open, so be sure to peek it. But most of the time, the route that I like to hit, and Gronkowski ran that route terribly, uh, but normally the route that I like to hit is Gronkowski in the back of the end zone on that situation. Or um, you could also, because remember, they're hard flatting, right? So you could also hit the slant. And again, that's where you get this nice little high-low between the running back and the slant on the right. And then on the left side, you get a high-low between the flat and the tight end route. So you get in a situation like this, right? And they're hard flatting, then you can hit your slant very easily. So, you know, this red zone play pretty much has an answer for almost everything. Now, if you want to do this from any play in the formation, it's actually really simple. So all of your other hot routes are the same. So you see, it looks like this right here, just like we were doing. But then the only adjustment is we're going to put the tight end on a uh, smart routed post, or, a, or not a smart routed, but a, a tight end apprentice post. And I actually like this for the most part better because you'll see this post route runs all the way on the side and then I can normally hit that normally I can hit that right there now what you just notice out of the cover four this is something you got to be a little careful with and kind of be a little patient with but purple zones on the sideline if you see this guy bail back see right here watch he'll bail back and then I can throw the flat or I can hold a little bit longer and throw that route so that's just something to kind of practice and lab up but I love this play. This is, like I said, it's probably my favorite play because if they don't play hard flats, like the running back route is almost always open. Um, the only route, only defense that really does a, have a chance to stop this, honestly, is cover three. And you'll see right here, like I can hit this here and then just kind of fall into the end zone. So that's another little tactic because cover three does a decent job um, at shooting out to the flat. Now, if they set zone drops, the zones are going to play way, 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 way worse. Okay. Um, the, 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 this little route to square will be wide open over the middle almost every time if they play zone drops. As you see right there, I can always wait on that route too. Um, one other little quick tip with this, if you want to, you can put square on a drag. Um, it's just a little shallower cutting type of route. Um, the reason I like this one you know, is, I mean, it's mainly just, you'll see here, it's just a little shallower. So you can kind of fit it in a little bit tighter windows just because of the way the route works. Okay. But that's pretty much my favorite red zone play in the game. It's very difficult to guard. Um, they basically have to, they have to drop eight out of a cover three, but it can't be a Mabel concept. And they have to basically use curl flats um, on both sides of the field. But the problem is what they're going to run into is, you know, their user is going to kind of get lost in the middle. And so then what you'll see off of this concept is this slant flat. So if I look to the right here, you see I can kind of, I can sometimes fit the slant in. But the other thing I want to show you one last piece of this is if they're playing true purple zones, because that's what they have to play to stop the right side. Okay. So if they're playing true, like curl flat, uh, purple zones, what should happen is your drag or your running back route should be open late because these curl flats will fall back. So if you hang on this, see that right there? See, and I can kind of like possession catch it, or I can just throw it once you get to the line because they're already starting to drift back because of the slant. So that's kind of how you can use this play against anything and be effective. Again, here's your purples from a cover three. See how they suck in? I can take that to the sideline. If I get a little bit better stick work, I can get in there. Okay, so I love this play a lot. Um, it's, it's probably my favorite. Like I said, it's definitely my favorite red zone play. It's actually a really good play if you're just running a standard offense too. Um, it's actually a very, very good concept. But here you see, I'm getting shedded to death, but you saw the tight end. The reason I like the tight end post a little bit better um, than I like most of the other routes on this is because typically, and again, typically what you'll find is their user will go with the tight end post and you'll get a lot of work to the slant or the in route. But when you put that tight end on a post, you see he gets that little sharp cut and gets wide open. So 
Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. That's how you score in the red zone of Madden 22. If you want to learn more about this offense, make sure you get to Patreon. We have more stuff like this. We have better stuff. And, um, and like I said, in my opinion, uh, the Patreon is the best place to get better. So because you get you get everything from one price. You get everything for 10 bucks. All the ebooks, all the tips, everything. I got 13 ebooks in there right now that you're instantly going to improve. So thanks for watching the, the video here. And if you want to check out the Patreon membership, head on down to the description and click the link that I put down there for you.